हरे कृष्णा लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड भगवत गीता एज इट इज रिटर्न बाय हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस एसी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्रील प्रभुपादा भगवत गीता एज एटीन चैप्टर्स सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दीज चैप्टर्स सेक्शन बाय सेक्शन बिफोर वी बिगिन द डिस्कशन लेट अस ऑफर अवर प्रेयर्स टू अवर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्रील प्रभुपादा एंड सुप्रीम लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देशतारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंदा श्री अद्वैत गदाधरा श्रीवासादी गौरभक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय टुडे वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सेकंड सेक्शन ऑफ फिफ्टींथ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता सेकंड सेक्शन इज श्लोका नंबर सेकंड सेक्शन इज फ्रॉम श्लोका नंबर ट्वेल्व टू श्लोका नंबर ट्वेंटी सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस सेक्शन इन दिस सेक्शन कृष्णा विल बी डिस्क्राइबिंग हाउ He is the source of everything, and how he supplies everything that we require for our material existence. And he also discloses the most confidential part of knowledge. So the second section is entitled "The Most Confidential Knowledge." So let us understand this section. Krishna says, "Yada aditya gatam te jo jagat bhase te khilam." यच्चंद्रमसी यच्चाग्नौ तत्तेजो विधिमामक द स्प्लेंडर ऑफ द सन विच डिसिपेट्स द डार्कनेस ऑफ दिस होल वर्ल्ड कम्स फ्रॉम मी एंड द स्प्लेंडर ऑफ द मून एंड द स्प्लेंडर ऑफ फायर आर आल्सो फ्रॉम मी सो हियर कृष्णा इज डिस्क्राइबिंग हाउ द स्प्लेंडर ऑफ सन मून एंड फायर कम्स फ्रॉम कृष्णा कृष्णास बॉडीली अफलजेंस is called brahma jyoti which is spread everywhere from brahma jyoti sun receives its effulgence the heat and light that we see in sun which illuminates this entire universe sun is the only planet which illuminates this the darkness of this whole universe is removed by the effulgence of the sun and how the sun is so effulgent how from where is sun getting its energy sun is getting its energy from krishna from brahma jyoti brahma jyoti is the source of all the heat and light and that energy of the sun which is coming from uh, brahma jyoti and moon moon shine is coming from again brahma jyoti it is it's also said that it's a reflection of uh, the sun sun's rays and then fire so if we trace all the energies originally are from the sun and the sun is getting its energy from brahma jyoti which is krishna's bodily effulgence so without sun we cannot live in this material world sun rays are essential for life in this material world moon rays are essential for nourishing fruits and vegetables and trees and all the plants fire is essential for our life for our cooking and manufacturing various products in our factories so without fire we cannot live so all the essentials that we require is supplied by krishna so krishna is describing that here further krishna says gama vishya cha bhutani dharayami ha mojasa ushnami chaushadi sarva somo bhutvara satmakah i enter into each planet and by my energy they stay in orbit i become the moon and thereby supply the juice of life to all vegetables just like dust when we uh, hold dust in our hand it all is together and when we leave the dust it all scatters in the same way 
there are innumerable planets in this universe all the planets are in its own orbits because the lord has entered into each and every planet and the lord is there in each and every atom so because of the lords entering into each and every planet they are floating in their own orbits and with if, just imagine if the planets are not revolving in their own orbits they can clash and collide with each other and everything will get destroyed so krishna is keeping every planet in its own orbit because of his presence otherwise there will be no system in this material world there will be chaos and everything gets destroyed and krishna further says pushnami chaushadi sarvaha somo bhutva rasatmaka we all require fruits vegetables and medicine medicinal herbs so all these things all the plants the fruits and vegetables they nourish because of the moon rays and the moon rays are nothing but krishna's energy because of krishna's energy we get the nourishing juices in fruits vegetables and medicinal herbs so krishna is the source of everything that we require in this world so krishna further says aham vaishvanaro bhutva praninam deham aashritah prana paana samayuktah pacham yannam chaturvidham i am the fire of digestion in every living body and i am the air of life outgoing and incoming by which i digest the four kinds of food stuff so here krishna is describing the food that we eat is digested in the in the, in the stomach because the lord is there as fire of digestion if there is no fire of digestion in our stomach the food we eat will not get digested and because of the fire of digestion we feel hunger without feeling hungry we don't feel like eating also so food are of different types some food we chew some food we uh, drink some food we swallow some food we lick so there are the four types of food that we eat so all these different types of food that we eat are digested because of the lord who stays in the in the stomach as vaishwanara he is present in the stomachs of every living being and because of his presence there is hunger created and because of his presence the varieties of food that we eat is digested so just imagine without the presence of the lord our life cannot sustain in this material world so krishna is telling sarvasya chaham hridi sannivishto matta smritir jnanam apohanam cha vedaisht sarvairaham eva vedyo vedanta krit veda videva chaham i am seated in everyone's heart and from me come remembrance knowledge and forgetfulness by all the vedas i am to be known indeed i am the compiler of the vedanta and i am the knower of the vedas so very nicely krishna is describing sarvasya chaham hridi sannivishto krishna is there in the heart of every living being he knows every living being's desires from time immemorial so krishna he gives remembrance of our desires at certain point of time and he makes us forget certain uh, remembrances of our lives just like when we take birth in uh, in this human form we forget our past lives so that we can live a fresh life in this body just imagine if we remember all the lives of our past we become crazy we will not be able to lead a proper life in this uh, body so krishna makes us forget our past lives and krishna also gives us memory he gives us remembrance without remembrance also we cannot live in this material world so we need memory we need remembrances and further krishna says i am the knower of the vedas i am the compiler of the vedanta and by all the vedas i am to be known so veda means knowledge so complete knowledge is to know the root cause of everything that krishna is the root cause of everything if we do not come to the ultimate conclusion of vedas that god is a person he is lord krishna and we are all his eternal servants our study of the vedas becomes incomplete in vedas different aspects of life different 
procedures to attain even material happiness is also given but that is not the purpose of the vedas the purpose of the vedas is to elevate us spiritually and liberate us from this material entanglement and uh, situate us in our original constitutional position as eternal servants of krishna in the spiritual world that is the whole purpose of the vedas so if we do not understand the end of the vedas then our study of veda becomes incomplete so bhagavad gita is a brief introduction to vedic knowledge it has everything very briefly detailed knowledge is given in uh, a scripture called shrimad bhagavatam which is the commentary on the vedanta sutra written by vyasa deva who is the literary incarnation of the supreme lord krishna himself so krishna is the compiler of the vedas in the form of veda vyasa so krishna knows vedas he himself is teaching here through arjuna he is teaching all of us about ultimate goal of life and how to get out of this material entanglement so krishna is the source of all knowledge and by reading all vedas we have to understand krishna only so that is explained here nicely by krishna so now krishna is describing different types of living beings and his special position as the supreme lord so krishna says dvavimau purushau loke kshras chakshara eva cha kshras sarvani bhutani utasthokshara uchyate there are two classes of beings the fallible and the infallible in the material world every entity is fallible and in the spiritual world every entity is called infallible so among the living beings there are two categories akshara and akshara akshara living beings or infallible living beings are intensely attached with krishna through loving relationships and they are always absorbed in serving krishna in the spiritual world they will never fall from their spiritual positions they are called akshara or infallible and kshara are living beings who are in this material world they are trying to enjoy their sensual pleasures uh, concocted in their own mind and they are wandering in this material world in various species those who are entangled in this material world they are called kshara in a fallible living being can also become infallible by developing devotional service to krishna under the care and guidance of a expert spiritual master so we can also become akshara by the practice of bhakti yoga so that is the only process which can make a fallible living being into infallible so further krishna says uttama purushastvanya paramatme tyudahrataha yo lokatrayam avishya bibharti avyaya ishvara besides these two there is the greatest living personality the lord himself who has entered into these worlds and is maintaining them so besides this kshara and akshara living beings there is a supreme lord himself in the form of paramatma he has entered into each and every planet he has he has entered into each and every atom he has entered into the hearts of every living being so the description is given in shri brahma samhita andantarastha paramanu chayantarastham so the lord has entered into each and every planet and paramanu into each and every atom so he is there along with all the living beings and he knows every living being so he is called uttama purusha he is superior to both kshara and akshara living beings so krishna says yasmat kshara mati to ham akshara api chottamah atosmi loke vede cha pratita purushottamah because i am transcendental beyond both the fallible and the infallible and because i am the greatest i am celebrated both in the world and in the vedas as that supreme person so here clearly krishna is describing that it is he who is paramatma it is he who expands into paramatma and he is situated everywhere in this material world krishna is there in his uh, vaishvanara form in the stomach of every living being and he digests all the food that we eat krishna supplies uh, heat in through sun and moon and fire and electricity 
so it is krishna who is maintaining our material lives it is krishna who is holding all planets together they are all floating so without krishna life is impossible in this material world so therefore krishna is the supreme person beyond both kshara and akshara living beings and he is celebrated as the supreme person both in this world and in the vedas so that is a special position of krishna therefore he is called the supreme lord so further krishna says yo maam evam sammudha janati purushottamam sa sarva vidhajati maam sarva bhavena bharata whoever knows me as the supreme personality of godhead without doubting he is to be understood as the knower of everything and he therefore engages himself in full devotional service ho sanav bharata so this is the main point the central point of bhagavad gita is disclosed here by krishna krishna is telling yo ma meva masammudho janati purushottamam anyone who understands krishna as the purushottama the best original supreme personality of godhead he is knower of everything so unless we understand that god is a person he is krishna our knowledge about god become, is incomplete if we do not accept krishna as supreme person that means actually there is some envy in our heart against krishna we don't like krishna therefore there are people who don't like to accept krishna as supreme they tell he is also a human being he may be little powerful than me uh, he is not god like that many people argue and they want to minimize the position of krishna so clearly krishna is telling here that anyone who understands that i am the supreme person he knows everything sar sa sarva vid bhajati maam sarva bhavena bharata after knowing that it is krishna who is supreme what will a person do he will worship him with full love and devotion it is such a great achievement in life to know that god is a person and he is such a lovable person krishna is so nice he is having all the good qualities in unlimited capacity and he loves every living being because all of us are his part so he naturally he loves everyone it is out of ignorance we don't want to accept krishna that is our foolishness and our ignorance but we have to give up our envy towards krishna and somehow by good Uh, fortune if we come to know this central point of vedas that krishna is the supreme person our life becomes perfect even knowing theoretically gives great satisfaction for a living being who is wandering in this world for a true companion we are all hankering for a true friend we all want a true lover we all want a true maintainer we want someone on whom we can always depend so that is being discussed, disclosed here by krishna that is it is he who is supplying everything he is supplying heat he is supplying rain he is supplying food he is digesting the food that we eat he is holding all planets together so krishna is the source of everything we are all living on his um, arrangement and we all are his parts so krishna is doing everything from his side to maintain us even in this material world even though we have forgotten him he is maintaining us and he is very kindly giving us knowledge about him without krishna telling all these things we cannot understand the source of everything so it is a great fortune for us to know that god is a person he is lord krishna and knowing this we should engage in pure love and devotion to krishna so that is what krishna is telling sa sarva vid bhajati maam sarva bhavena bharata with full love and devotion my devotees who know this they will always serve him so that is discussed here by krishna very nicely so further krishna concludes this chapter by telling iti guhyatamam shastram idam uktam maya nagha etad buddha buddhiman syat krita krityascha bharata this is the most confidential part of the vedic scriptures o sinless one and it is disclosed now by me whoever understands this will become wise and his endeavors will know perfection so this is the most confidential part of knowledge in the bhagavad gita and in the vedas that 
to know that Krishna is the Supreme Lord and it is to Krishna that we all have to surrender, we all have to love Him, we all, we all have to serve Him. This is the most confidential knowledge and anyone who understands this most confidential part of knowledge, he is the most wisest person and he knows everything. So with this, this chapter ends here. We will understand chapter 16 in the next session. Hare Krishna.